and Clarius Johnson, mostly known as Inky Johnson. Who is Inky Johnson, you ask? Well, Inky Johnson was a football player for, and he got drafted to Tennessee for his college year. But let's take it back to the when he was seven. At the age of seven, he decided that he wanted to go play football. So he went to his little cousin and said, we have to consist in action so they can go to the NFL. So every night, him and his cousin will run light pole to light pole. And during then, one day, a coach came up and signed them up for football. It was the first time those in organized sports and they rock. During his high school year, he went to Creme High School. It was the lowest performing schools in the east side of Atlanta, Georgia. And he lived on Kirkwood, so it was like drug dealer and gang member on every, every side of the thing, every side of the street. And during then, Krim High School, no one graduated. So on his first day, he went to Krim High School and, and he walked through the metal detectors. The metal detector cop said, what's their plan? And Inky Johnson said to go D1. The metal detector cop said, you're not gonna go D1. You'll probably end up in cell block D1. And at the point, Inky Johnson knew he had to go to the NFL. He had a dream, he had a desire to go so he could provide for his family. And his mother and dad came to him one day and said they wanted to move him from Krim High School to another school. And he didn't agree, but they still moved him. The first game to the new high school, he broke a ligament so he couldn't play for the rest of the season. During then, a preacher came up to him. He said, Inky, why do you want to move back to Krim High School? You're at a better school. Why, why do you want to move back? He said, I have to move back. That's all he said. And preacher talked to his parents and he got moved back to Krem High School. The reason he wanted to go back to Krem High School wasn't because he wanted to prove the metal detector cop wrong. It was because he had brothers and sisters and cousins sitting on that floor when he slept with those roaches and rats. He wanted to prove to them that no matter what happens, you can make it. And this is a picture of the school. During Inky Johnson's athletic journey, on January 30th, 2004, Inky Johnson officially visits Tennessee. During this time, he had a tour guide, and the tour guide asked him, "Do you want to go to, um, do you want to go to a party? Do you want to go to a basketball game, or do you want to go to a barbecue?" He gave him three options. Normally, somebody would say party or say one of those options, but him, no. He said he wanted to just go back to his hotel. So he took him back. The tour said, do you do you feel sick or something? He said, no. What the guy didn't understand was, this was the first time Inky Johnson ever stayed in a hotel. And by the way, he's in college right now. So this is the first time he's ever staying in a bed by himself. And on January, on February 2nd, 2004, Inky commenced to t commits to Tennessee. So on February 4th, 2004, Inky Johnson signs letters of in intent to Tennessee. On June 30th, 2004, Inky enrolls at Tennessee. And this is when his college year starts. So at this point, he's already automatically doing good. So it's football, he's making money and things. So football, what the word NFL means to him, just a way out, a way to help his family. He could become something else than a gang member or one of those drug dealers on the side of his streets. He could rise up and show his potential. During first time, first time there, he, for his first game, he did good, he scored five times. And then he kept going on. A coach came to him and said, we'll call it, where do you wanna go? He said, man, I just wanna go D1. He said, you're not listening, so where do you want to go? He said, I just want to go D1. So they decided to put some drafts, put some tapes together and see what they can do from there. And from there, from there, he was good. He was playing his next game. And during that game, he went and he hit somebody because he dropped back, he hit someone and he went numb. What Inky didn't know was that day would have changed his whole life. He was paralyzed. 
from then he he forgot about it and the reason was for him to get paralyzed he says it was a dream because now not just playing football he can't he can't play football anymore but not just that he can go around and tell people about his story and what he had to go through thank you Thank you.